um, Microsoft Teams. So I'm in my, um, I'm, I'm kind of in my my demo account um, that, that I use within AAG. So this this isn't my normal Teams account. One of the things that you'll see within Teams now, though, is that you've kind of got Copilot here. Um, so within your normal chat se session, so I can um, start to ask things like you know questions within kind of co-pilot within Teams. So as an example, if I want to catch up on any emails that's been sent to me in the last 24 hours, I can do I can ask Copilot something like summarize um, emails sent to me. And again, in the, unfortunately, in this mailbox, um, it isn't one that I use on a day to day basis. So it's only, pull, it's only going to pull back a small amount of information, but that's literally because there's not many emails in there. Um, but what you can start to see now is that I, you know the emails that I've received through, and I, you know, this is some stuff I've got marked to kind of send backwards and forwards so that we've got some data in here. But without having to, you know, without having to kind of trawl through every single email, it will pull back to me the highlights of those emails themselves. And and next to the content, so um, you know, I can see one here that said, you know, where you know where a file was shared with me and next to each of these sections you can see these little citation numbers so if i want to dive into the specific detail of 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 this particular comment i can click into the citation number and it will show me you know that section of the email thread that came through um you know from an outlook perspective you know you know this 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 is the thread that it's that it's pulling data from so I can you know really quickly and easily I can start to kind of ask information um, across here and then it will kind of prompt me for things like follow up questions. You know, you know, in this case, there were some guides that I asked Mark to send across, you know, the AI has detected that that's there so I can ask it for the follow up question saying, you know, what are the recent guides um, attached in the email and it will pull it straight through. And and again, if I you know I, I can uh, if I click on this reference link, it'll take me straight to that specific email where where I can download those guides from. So again, you know, they, you know, it's giving me a link straight to the information that I needed, rather than having to trawl through. So I can start to ask it, you know, you know, kind of really specific questions around there. Um, but what you'll see here as well is that you can see, you know, it will give you some examples of prompts that you can use, um, you know, within this tool. So, you know, things like, you know, what's the latest from, you know, this person, you know, organised by emails, chats, and files. You know, I want to get key information from a particular file so I could upload, um, you know, perhaps there was a, you know, a business plan or a policy document um, or, or something like that. I can I can ask Copilot to give me key information from a file. I can draft an FAQ and again, I'm going to show you some examples of these as we go across, but it's, it's giving you some example prompts to kind of get you started. So, you know, things like getting calendar information, you can ask it here, you know, when is my next meeting with this particular person or this particular client, it might be something that you've got booked a couple of months in advance. So rather than trawling through your calendar trying to find that date, you can quickly just ask Copilot to do that. Um, probably in, in my time using Copilot so far, the, the most powerful thing I, I, I really like within Microsoft Teams is that when you're running a Teams meeting, you can um, you, you can get Copilot to listen and effectively take notes and listen to actions um, of what you do. So I, I ran a quick um, marketing catch up meeting with our CEO um, yesterday afternoon um, because we we have a marketing meeting with an external agency that's coming up on Friday who, who's coming up to visit us. Now I recorded this meeting with Copilot um, and what this has allowed me to do is so this is a meeting that's happened in the past, but I can now go back and ask questions of this meeting. I could have, I, you know, I, unfortunately, I can't really demo you this live, um, you know, on the webinar today, but the same principle applies is that I can do the things I'm going to show you now. I can do live during a meeting as well. So going into this historical meeting, I can go to this recap section 
Um, I can see a transcript of the entire conversation um, that Copilot has picked up. So, you know, I can see everything that was kind of said during that meeting. But what what I can do is I can go to my Copilot and once it loads up, again, I, I, it shows me the history of the conversations. But to, to show you as an example, if I do summarize this meeting, Copilot will kind of go away and it in, in this case, it's looking at the transcript of the meeting and pulling out all the kind of key points um, as part and parcel of it. But I can actually ask it to do this mid meeting. So whilst I'm in a live meeting with somebody, I can ask it to summarize the meeting so far. I can ask it to kind of pull out key action points so far. Um, so here it's given me a summary of, you know, about you know the marketing plan for our cybersecurity services. Um, it's it's actually kind of pulled out kind of key action points of who's going to deal with these particular things. Um, so things like commercialization of educational content, which attracts you know a lot of traffic but doesn't generate revenue. You know these are all conversation points that were part of the meeting that that we had last night. That you know without having to kind of go back and replay a meeting, um, you know to go back and read the notes, it has produced that for me automatically. So I can very quickly kind of copy copy that, go and open up an email, send a new email to um, you know anybody who was the attendee of that meeting and paste it in, and I've now very quickly got a summary um, you know of the key action points within there, with citations that people can can kind of click into the specific detail. So taking meeting notes, um, you know, following up on kind of key action points. Um, the other sort of things you can do is, you know, is things like suggest follow up questions. I can type properly. Now this is quite useful if you're talking to um, a client, a supplier. Um, it could be an interview um, with somebody. Um, you can ask live during a meeting that you're running with Copilot for it to suggest follow up questions. Uh, for some reason, mine's running a little slow today. Um, but you can see here some some example questions. And most of these are generally really on point. Is you know some follow up questions to marketing. You know how do we plan the update for you know for the website uh, for our basic services? You know what are the deadlines and responsibilities for the task? How do we align the educational content with our service offerings uh, and value proposition? So you can start to see that the AI has really listened to the conversation that's taken place and is giving really pertinent follow up questions. Now I appreciate this is kind of marketing related, but it works really well from an interview perspective, like I said, meetings with clients because it's listening to everything that's being said and it understands the context of what's being said. I've yet to see when it comes up with a, you know, a, 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 an ill informed, you know, follow up question. They're generally you know, really on point. So um, kind of really kind of powerful tool that actually we can go back to historical meetings and kind of get at those key actions and who agreed what and who said what, um, etc. Um, one thing to be aware of that if you're you can so we've again in in the way we've used Copilot so far, we've we've also used Copilot um, in our boardroom to kind of record meetings, um, which works really well. But the only the only thing it doesn't do is it won't necessarily detect you know who the specific actions are for it will highlight the actions but because if everybody's in the same room using the same microphone um it's not able to distinguish between different people um occasionally it might if we if you've been kind of really specific in terms of what you've said so as in mark i need you to do this thing yes it will define that as an action but it you know it will listen um it will listen for those actions and that and that's um obviously because you know if we were all joining the meeting via teams it's really easy to distinguish between the different people who are speaking but if we're all in the same room um, that's you know that's not quite the same 